Hi foodies, I made a really nice chicken and cabbage stir fry. Simple things. I know you can do this, right? And it's so tasty. So let's get into it. What I have here guys is chicken tenders that I diced and I also tossed it in some olive oil. What I'm gonna add now is some minced fresh ginger. You know, ginger is full of flavor. And I'm adding some chicken seasoning, some brown sugar and black pepper. I'm not adding any salt because I'm gonna be adding some salty ingredients later. This is a little browning I'm adding here, just to help with color. You might see it as burnt sugar in the supermarket too. Toss everything together, and I am gonna be adding a little bit of soy sauce. Remember when you're cooking anything that's kinda, you know, Asian inspired or Chinese food, you don't have to use a lot of salt. Rely on the soy sauce for salt, okay? If you want to, go ahead and marinate this for an hour or you can start cooking it now. So what I have here is a pan, non-stick, it has some oil in there. You can grab your wok if you have one. And then I'm going to be cooking the vegetables. So I add a scotch bonnet because I want the essence of the pepper throughout the whole dish. I don't want it too spicy so I didn't cut it up. So add your bell peppers and onion cut in strips. Why we cut it in strips? Because we want it to cook quickly. You want everything to be cut small so they can cook together and cook fast, right? So after tossing it around for about a minute and it smells nice in the kitchen, you're just going to be adding some carrot. The carrot I cut into strips. Why? Just to let everything cook faster, right? It's stir fry. So you can cut it in a different shape if you want to. Just make sure it's small enough. And then add some garlic. That's flavor right there. Don't leave out that fresh garlic. Of course, as I always say, you want to cook that garlic so it can get nice and fragrant, but you don't want to overcook these veggies. So once the garlic starts to smell nice and everything, then you're going to go in with the cabbage. Make sure your heat is on medium high because you don't want that cabbage to start steaming. You want it to saute. All right, so add the cabbage. I didn't cut it too thin because I want it to have some crunch. If you want it thin, that's fine, but this is how thick I want it for this dish, this time at least. So we're gonna be tossing everything together because you want the oil to coat the cabbage, you want the cabbage to hit the surface of the pan and start cooking and everything. So stir everything, toss everything together. I'm going to be adding some minced fresh thyme leaves. You can use a whole sprig if you want to and remove it in the end. Of course, this is just, you know, the Jamaican part of me. I have scotch bonnet, I want some thyme in there, you know what I mean? So just toss that together. And of course, let's add some black pepper, freshly ground or in your jar, whatever you have, okay? Make it easy for you. Just add as much black pepper as you like and toss it around. Once the cabbage is cooked to your liking, ideally you want it tender but still having a little crunch to it, remove it from the pan, all right? So just a few more tosses and then I'll remove it from the pan. We're gonna be using the same pan. Add some oil if you need to. If not, just go ahead, set your cabbage aside and we're gonna add the chicken to the pan. Make sure it's on medium high or high, whether it's a wok or pan you're using, and add that seasoned chicken. Now, because the chicken was cut up so small, they're you know kind of clumped up together, so loosen it and make sure you spread them out because you want each piece of chicken to hit the surface of the pan because you want it to get nice and brown. You don't want the chicken to start steaming and have you know that white bland looking you know kind of appearance so let it hit the surface of the pan and what i do is once i feel like that side is browned then i'll flip it over see it's slightly browned and then you can just start tossing after that if you're using a wok over a really high flame you might not have to you know let the chicken sit the way i did you can just keep tossing it keep tossing it and it will cook really fast so I let it sit on the surface of the pan, then I flip it over and now I feel comfortable tossing it around because it has a little more color. If you see some of the sugar caramelizing in the bottom of the pan or some seasoning sticking, don't worry about that because we'll add some liquid later just to loosen that up. 
So now I'm just going to drizzle some hoisin sauce in there. You can use some um, oyster sauce if you prefer, but today I'm using soy sauce and hoisin sauce together. All right, so you get that little bit of sweetness. If, you're, if you've been watching my channel, you already know I love sweet and salty, okay? So, so the hoisin sauce was drizzled in and soy sauce. So stir it around so you can loosen up those bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pan. And of course, if you want this dish to be super saucy, you can always add a, a stir fry sauce mixture, like the ones I use for my stir fry videos here on the channel. So you have your cornstarch, a little water, your soy sauce, all those liquids. You can use that, but I kept it simple today. I'm not using a, you know, a sauce mixture. I'm just adding a little soy sauce and a little hoisin sauce. Stir it around, add back that cabbage to the pan, mix everything together. What I did here was I just added a little bit of water right here just to loosen up some more of the stuff that stuck to the bottom of the pan. And then I minced that scotch bonnet and I'm going to add it here. I took out a little bit of this for my son. So once that was set aside, I just added this to the pan. All right. So I have my nice heat from that scotch bonnet right now. So I'll finish this up with some green onions or scallion, just the green tops. You're going to cut that up and toss that in. Beautiful garnish with flavor. And that is it. Simple chicken and cabbage stir fry. Kind of like a chicken chop suey, but just slightly different, I guess. And it's so tasty, guys. Remember, you can make it saucy if you want. And this is delicious. Thank you for watching. And remember to click the like share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. All right, I'll see you guys next time.